you know we have something in common. I'm from 82, right? Right? Watch this. Uh, pay attention too, because those things pertain to all of us. We're learning from these things. Let me ask you this. Did you ever wonder why the so-called Haitians are everywhere? You find us what? You find us in uh, South America, like Chile, uh, Brazil, Argentina, El Salvador, Colombia, uh, Mexico, uh, South Florida, everywhere you could go, there's a huge amount of us among all these nations. Did you know that's in the Bible that was going to happen to us? Did you know the Bible is saying that exactly what I was saying right now? Did you know that's in the Bible that will happen to us? Watch this. I'm going to show you that this Bible is your historical book, just like the officer was telling you. Watch this. Look at Genesis chapter 49 and verse 5. No, it's not verse 1. Genesis chapter 49, verse 1. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together, that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last day. So Jacob is our forefather. Jacob's name changed to Israel. Jacob said, Bring yourself together. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen to you in the latter day. Meaning in the last days, I'm going to tell you exactly who the Judah is going to be the so-called African-American, who the uh, 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 so-called Haitian gonna be in the latter day. Watch this, verse five. Verse five, Simeon and Levi are brethren. It says Simeon and Levi are brethren. They're all brothers. Why did it say Simeon and Levi are brethren? Look, look, look at him. This is the, this is the Levite, and this is the Simeon. What do you find that pretty, that pop out out of that? The Simeons are, 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 are who? And aren't they living in the same island? Yes. yes. It says Simeon and Levi are brethren. So he's making a connection that telling you these two brothers are going to be living together in the latter day. They are the only two brothers that live together out of all the 12 tribes, right? Watch this. Simeon and Levi are brethren. Instruments of cruelty are in their habitation. It says instruments of cruelty are in their habitation, meaning they love violence. Is that a fairy tale or is that a true statement? It's a true statement. They would pull up their machete and chop you off before you know it. Not just the Levi that like that, the Simeon, the so-called Dominicans are all the same way. Right. God is telling you the attributes of a Levi and the attributes of a, a, a Simeon, okay? The so-called Dominican Republic. Wait. Oh my soul. Come not down into their secret. It says don't come to their secret. What are their secret? Voodoo. Uh, how do you say it? Buddha idea? I can't pronounce it. it uh, 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 Dominican also follow the same pattern. Goes into their witchcraft. Okay, it says don't come in their secret. Read. Unto their assembly, mine honor, be not thou united. See, God says they're not gonna unite. They are in the same island but they can't stay in each other. Are they united? Are they united, the so-called Haitians and the Dominican Republic? They can't stay in each other. They are killing each other. God says they will not unite. We. For in their anger, they slew a man. Uh -huh. And in their self-will, they did down a wall. And tell you another thing, that they are self-will. The so-called Haitians are self-will. They do what they want to do. How they want to do it, whenever they want to do it. That's the so-called Haitians. Read. Cursed be their anger, for it was fierce, and their wrath, for it was cruel. Uh -huh. I will divide them in Jacob. What did God say? I will divide them in Jacob. He says he will divide them in Jacob. Not throughout the world. He will divide them among their own people. So when you hear uh, the so-called Haitians are among the Colombian, they are among their own people. When you see they are uh, in Argentina, they are among their own people. When you see they are in Brazil, they are among their own people. Mexico, among their own people. But guess what? God says he will divide them where? I will divide them in Jacob. He will divide them in Jacob. We And scatter them in Israel. And scatter them in Israel. That's why you see we are scattered all four corners of the earth. That's among right. all our own people. But right. guess what? That, that's not what we want. What we want is to understand what God required from you and change things around. Now, having him telling you guys all this, 
What are you willing to do? What are you willing to do to change things? What are you willing to do to change things? Now, obviously, you don't like what's going on, right? You don't like being killed in, in the streets, right? Huh? Learn more? All right, let me show you what you should want to do. Give me uh, 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 first King chapter 8, verse 46. I'm going to show you what you should desire. Because as we learn, because if you learn, you don't learn for yourself. You learn so you can help your own brother. You can actually, hold on to that. Give me that first. When you learn, you don't learn just for yourself. You learn to help your brothers and sisters that are in bad condition. Because when you look back home, things are not beautiful. When you look here in the project, in the uh, 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 ghetto, things are not good. Things are bad. But when you change, you don't change for yourself. You change to help your brothers and sisters. Read that for me. The book of Sirach, chapter 33 and verse 17. Consider that I labor not for myself only. You hear that? He says, consider I labor not only for myself. Meaning, study, all the study that I do, all the change that I, that I made, is not for myself. But for who? But for all of them that seek learning. For all of them that seek learning. Like you right now, you're seeking learning. You want to know uh, what God's required from you. But how is that going to happen if I don't change my life? Give me 2nd Hedges, chapter 14 and 13. How is that going to happen if you don't change yourself? I have to change myself first before I can show you the light. How can I show you the light if I'm not doing it myself? That's hypocrisy. That's what Christ used to teach about for us not to do. Read that for me. 2nd Hedges, chapter 14 and verse 13. Now therefore, set thine house in order. See, first thing that it says, set your house in order. Your house is yourself. You gotta change that first. Read. And reprove thy people. By you changing yourself, then you can go and correct others of what they're not doing right. Read on. Comfort such of them as be in trouble. Then you bring comfort. Comfort to whom? The so-called Haitians back in Haiti. You bring them comfort. Let them know, hey, you suffer just for a little while. Knowing this, salvation is for you. When Christ returns, he's coming for you to save you from the lowest state that you are in today. Is it worth it for you to struggle now and get the kingdom? So why should we consider why should we continue in sin? So what my brother was telling you earlier, he says you're not supposed to transgress the Sabbath. Go ahead and cut your beard um, or, or cut your hair on the Sabbath. It's a sin. You probably didn't know that, but now you know. Go ahead and buy on the Sabbath day is a sin. That's a law, okay? Now read that scripture, you can drop this. Uh, uh, give, this is the scripture I want you to listen to. First Kings chapter eight, verse 46. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not. See that, it says, if they sin against thee. This is Solomon speaking. Why Solomon was able to say, say the things that he's saying right now? Solomon was able to see the future. He was able to see mid to time, and he was able to see the beginning. You guys believe that? Mm -hmm. Or do you want me to prove that to you from the Bible? You want me to show you? Okay, all right, watch this. Before you go, I want you to listen to this. We have to talk on the one. Huh? We have to talk on the one. I'll, I'll invite you to the school, but I want you to listen to this. Let me finish up with that and then I'll get you, I'll get your information and stuff like that, all right? Go ahead. First Kings chapter 8, verse 46. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not. Solomon said, if Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, sins against you, God, for there is no man that didn't sin. We all sin. We. And thou be angry with them. And you are mad the fact that they sin against you. What father that have their kids that go against his order, he says, hey, get home by 10 o'clock, and you come home at 2 in the morning. What father you know that's not going to be upset at that? That's God. We. And deliver them to the enemy. God delivered us to the enemy because we transgressed his laws for us to get corrected. He didn't send us to uh, 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 slavery to get killed, to get uh, uh, destroyed, but to get right. We. So that they carried them away captives unto the land of the enemy. We know that it's talking about us because we were carried here as captives. We were carried here as slaves. We. Far or near. Far from Jerusalem, close to Jerusalem. What that mean? We were scattered as slaves all four corners of the earth. It wasn't just here in America. Okay? Read. 
yet if they shall bethink themselves. What does that mean? It says yet if they shall bethink themselves. Hold on to that. Give me that thing. Go with 30. What do you think that means? It says yet if they shall bethink themselves. If they wake up. If they wake up. Okay. If wake up from what? Lack of understanding about what? You never close. I, I like uh, the approach you take it, but what do you think he's referring to? Wake up from what? To come back to them. To themselves. Yeah. Okay, very good, very good. You, you, you all right. Listen to this. Baruch chapter 2, verse 30. For I knew that they would not hear me. Who is he talking about here? For I knew they would not hear thee. Who is he talking about here? Israel. We. Because it is a stiff necked people. Because Israel is stiff necked. To be stiff necked is you want to do what you want to do. You're not going to turn to the left, you're not going to turn to the right. We. But in the land of their captivity. Just like what you just read in 1 uh, Kings, it says, but in the land of their captivity, which is here, we. They shall remember themselves. They will remember who they are, which is exactly what you said. That's they will remember that they're not Haitian, they're not Jamaican, they're not Puerto Rican, they're not African American. They remember that they are the seed of Jacob. They are from the nation of Israel. And That's right. That's what's going on right now. We are waking up to our true nationality. We are tired of being calling all these cool names. These all have nothing to do with us. Black is just a color in the, in the crayon box. African American was named after two white men. This is what we call ourselves. Haitian mean high mountain. We calling ourselves after things that have no substance. But God says, you from the tribe of Levi. That's right. God says that you are, <clears throat> excuse me, that you from the tribe of Judah, the same tribe that Christ came from. That's right. But we gotta repent. Finish that. First Kings chapter eight, verse 47. Yet if they shall bethink themselves in the land whither they were carried captives, and repent. And repent. What does that mean to repent? Huh? Ask for forgiveness. And repent. Watch this. The book of Acts chapter 3 verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. So now that he says that, what does the word repent goes into? To convert me what? To change. God is asking you to repent, to change your way. Hold on, you're coming back up, officer. It says to repent is to change your way. If you used to transgress God's Sabbath, do so no more. If you used to uh, uh, kill, do so no more. If you used to jump from women to women, stop that. Get yourself a wife instead. That's what God is asking. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.